Hey everyone, Krista Moser here. Today I thought I'd show you my technique for cutting strips accurately. Strip cutting is something that's a basic in the quilting world, and the more strips you cut, the better you get at it. But oftentimes, if you're cutting many in a row, your, your cuts will start to get skewed, which will end up with a strip that has kind of a boomerang shape, an elbow in it. So I'm gonna show you some of the basics, some of the most important things to remember as you're doing your strip cutting, so that when you go to piecing, you'll have the best results. What I've got here is a piece of fabric and I've given it a good press. So the whole thing is pressed out really nice with some steam. Now I'm gonna line up my selvage edges and I'm gonna kinda of just give it a shake and I'm going to shift my selvages back and forth until it looks like it's hanging straight. If it looks like it's twisted, you can see what happens if your selvages are shifted to the right or left, it'll have a real, a real wavy look here and you won't have a nice fold at the other side. So I'm going to readjust here, shake that out, smooth it out, look for my nice crease, my nice straight fold. That looks good. All the way across, lay it on my board. And now for the cleanup cut. This is the first cut to be done. Make sure we're, we're all set. Okay, the first cut to be done. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna clean off the right edge to start. And no matter how uneven this edge is, depending on, you know, if you got the end of the bolt or you have some raw edge fabric here, you're gonna have to cut off. Sometimes you might have to cut off quite a bit. If it's very uneven, you have to move your ruler into the fabric until it clears both layers all the way across. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna line up the horizontal lines on the ruler. I'm gonna line one up against my folded edge on the bottom. Now all rulers have horizontal lines at least at the one inch mark. And so you're gonna use one of those. In my case, I'm gonna use this one down here across the, uh, the folded edge. And I'm making sure I'm clearing both layers doesn't have to be cut off too much, but I'll shift it in just a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, now put your hand on the ruler, pressure, you're starting off the fabric. So I'm on the folded edge here and I'm starting off the fabric and I'm rolling onto the fabric. And notice I'm not cutting up and down like this, that's too much pressure on your, on your wrist and you'll get really wonky cuts. So it's kind of just nice even pressure, lower, lower down like this, not clear down, but just about like this. So I'm going to start here off the fabric and I'm just going to roll on to the end of my fingers. Then I'm going to walk my hand forward, supporting that ruler with pressure all the way across. Looks like I need to replace my blade. Just like that. What this gives me is a nice, perfect 90 degree angle. That's the start of every good cut, 90 degree angle. So now that we've got that, I'm going to take this whole piece and I'm just going to flip it over because I'm right-handed. So now for the rest of my cuts, I'm going to cut from the left side to the right side. Okay. Now from the left side, I think I'm going to cut some two and a half inch strips. I'm not so much worried about the lines on the mat because I know that this angle here that I've gotten is a good 90 degree clean angle. So I'm going to lay the ruler down, two and a half inch line, and I'm just looking, I'm looking here to see that that line hugs the fabric all the way across. Here's the thing with the, with the cutting. A lot of times you'll cut shallow, like by two threads shallow, or you'll cut oversized by about the same amount because you'll see your fabric either on the left side of the ruler or you'll see a little gap on the right side of the ruler lines. So what you want is you want that line to be right on top of the edge because so many cuts later, if you've gone either oversized by even a couple of threads or undersized by a couple of threads, that will compound and you'll be a quarter inch off in no time. So what we need here is a 90 degree angle. I'm using some of these lines again, hugging that fold and my cut edge, and the same thing. Pressure, 
move my hand all the way to the end. And I'm going to pull this one out and cut the next one so I can see my edge. And I can see my angle right to the end of my tips again and again. You just keep working your way across your fabric, cut after cut. Now here's the moment of truth. Does my folded edge look straight? Because this is where you'll see. You'll see a boomerang, you know, if it were at an angle. Even sometimes it'll get an elbow in it. But look at that. Very, very straight. That comes from that 90 degree angle. Now, let me show you something that I have started to use. Some of the, the markings on the rulers are a little bit um, small, sometimes hard to see, the little lines and whatnot. These are called spot-on dots, and I just got a set. It comes in two sizes, a large one and a small one, and they're magnifier dots, so you can see the lines on your ruler or the markings on your ruler magnified. They've got a little grip on the underside so they won't slide around. So I can lay it right here on my two and a half inch line and I can really see. If you're hard of uh, seeing a little bit, if you've got vision problems, this is a really handy tool because I can move this up and down on my ruler line and really see where that fabric is. So I'm going to lay it here on the two and a half inch line Do the same thing. Walk my hand over it, just like that. I started using the little ones on the rulers with um, with angled line markings and starbur lines. Sometimes in my patterns, I talk about some of the um, the less used lines, and so this helps you kind of keep track of those. And then I started using the bigger ones. And some of the details of the pattern, you can see. If you've got a pattern with a lot of small details and you want to really see what's going on or pay attention to some of the directions with numbers that you don't want to lose track of, pretty handy little tool. It might be helpful for you if this is something you struggle with. Okay, there we go. We'll keep cutting and hopefully Every once in a while, you might want to do a new cleanup cut. That's something I didn't talk about and should have. Every once in a while, you want to flip this fabric back over and recheck your 90 degree angle. Like I said, the more cuts you do, the more opportunity to get this off just little by little. Here it is. So I'm looking at my my folded edge again, and sure enough, I could do, I could use a cleanup cut here. It's not much, but you see that? Just a little piece. That will make for a more accurate cut the next time around. There you go. All my tips and tricks. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.